What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy, Kieran Davis, owner, founder, CEO of Davis Co. We're trying to make self-love contagious from enough awareness, suicide prevention, and we donate 10% of our profits to mental health organizations. As you know, suicide is a complicated cause of death for Americans, so we're trying our best to combat that and raise awareness. In today's video, we're going to talk about why I started this brand. Some of y'all, if y'all been here for some any short period of time, and I was really posting going crazy on the videos, you already know a lot of this stuff anyway. Let's have a little recap for new people, for anybody who's trying to wonder why I'm doing what I'm doing. So when I was a kid, my mom attempted to commit suicide. You know what I mean? She attempted suicide. You know? And uh, it was crazy, really, because I was such a young kid. I was aware, and I wasn't aware of what it really meant. You understand? And um, I had a pretty rough upbringing where I was homeless a lot, middle school, high school. I didn't really go to any dances, I didn't go to any proms, nothing like that. You feel me? I was just trying to figure out where we were going to sleep tonight, what I was going to eat tonight, what I was going to shower type shit. You feel me? And it's, very, it's a very, very dark place to be in. Uh, and, and, and in your adolescence, where you're everything is important, you're a sponge, you know? So, yeah, like I was saying, um, when I was a little kid, my mom tried to commit suicide, and I really wasn't, didn't know what the heck that even meant, but changed my life, right? Moved to Alabama, a lot of stuff, goes a lot of things a lot of people go through, you know, uh, drugs in the family, a lot of stuff like that. So, I was homeless a lot, homeless in middle school, homeless in high school a lot, and that really kind of strips away your confidence. I really kind of strips away your self-esteem. And, and that's just on the surface when I was getting too deep into the details. Um, that's on the surface, you feel me? And uh, going through a lot of trauma and stuff like that. You know? And we get to experience a lot of stuff that kids get to experience at that age, and, uh, you know. But we, 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 we grow from them things, that stuff happens for you, not to you, you know? So yeah, that stuff happens for you, not to you, right? But um, when I was, 19, moved out of my mama house, moved from Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama, up to Iowa, up to Des Moines. And down there, uh, I was really just kind of like very, very, very young, very influenced, smoking, drinking, partying. And me and, you know, my friend at the time decided that it might be just a good idea for us to, uh, yeah, me and my friend at the time, we thought it was a good idea for us to like, stage a robbery. It's literally the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life, you know? And I was just a little kid, man. Really. I was a kid. And I almost had to, you know, I, if, if, if God didn't save me from that situation, I would be like just getting out of prison around this time of my life. So everything, I wouldn't be able to go through any of this journey. Actually, in that moment, I remember going to this church and uh, some of the elders were speaking with I never had been to this church before. And um, I forget what story they were talking about, but I was familiar with it, so I was able to chime in. And one of the gentlemen, uh, Herbert or something like that, gave me a ride home, because I had rode up on a bike. And, and uh, I came around home, she went around the town. I was moved to the town. Um, you know, we were still, we still going through trials and so, uh, And he was just showing me around the town, man. And I had like, he took me to the house, like, oh, here you go. Oh, 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 white man. And I started busting out the tears. I was like, this man treated me so nice, he don't even know me. He treated me better than I treat myself right now. You feel me? And that just blew my mind. And I was just like, man, I feel like I abandoned myself. I feel like I've forsaken myself. I don't know who I am right now. I lost myself. And he told me, you know, I don't know what you did, but are you upset because you got caught? Or are you upset because you really feel bad about what you did? And I really felt bad. I always wanted to have my own business. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Ever since I was a little kid, looking up the rappers, and I was like, man, they signed to this label. Who owned that label, you know? Yeah. I always wanted that. Never thought it was feasible, never thought it was attainable, you know? And um, that moment, talking to this gentleman, it's almost like he's still talking for you, bro. And God uses people to touch other people. And I'm not trying to sway anybody's beliefs, but this is what I believe. 
and uh, that lit that Superman's personal development journey. I guess I read a lot of personal development books. I didn't watch TV for, for 19, 21, until I got in a relationship with my girlfriend. She kind of got me watching TV, and I really wasn't on that for me. I was reading books. I was trying to get tapped into nature. So yeah, I was working on like meditating, getting out in nature and stuff like that. Um, but I was still hitting this wall, you know? And that's what led me to therapy. I found out about cognitive story thoughts and all this other stuff, man. That just really opened my mind to a lot of stuff, man. And um, so I did, once I started learning more about this stuff, I started seeing a lot of these same things in my peers. And um, people just weren't, there's been so much stigma, so much brainwashing around this stuff that people aren't even aware that they're in this life, that, that they're struggling with their mental health, you know? And I really just wanted to just build that awareness, man. I really do. Because when I started going down the rabbit hole further, this is really a pandemic, like, you know, suicide. And, and it stems from mental health. And it stems from how we treat each other. And it stems from how we view ourselves. So a big part of this was just me wanting to help make self-love contagious. It just also is just like, contagious in itself is a word that can be looked at as negative. But it also has a lot of positive upside too. It's a word that depending on how you use it, the effect you tend to use it for, will really, you know, have a different impact, you know? And the same thing with the things that are contagious. A lot of negativity travels fast in this world, but why can't we make positive travel fast? Why can't we make love travel fast? Why can't we make peace travel fast? And I understand I'm, I'm not I'm not coming off as like some sort of leftist or anything like that. I understand that like the world will have a balance. We're already fighting these internal battles within ourselves. So why not we encourage and make self-love contagious for ourselves and for each other? Because it's already gonna be hard. So why don't we come together and just love each other? Because I love ourselves, you know. But I just want the world to understand that I believe we're all born equal. Money, cars, clothes, all that stuff, it only matters in the physical world. I believe we're spiritual beings having a human experience. On a spiritual level, none of that stuff matters. When you die, none of that stuff matters. It only matters based on the value you place on it. It's a lot more valuable things in this world than that. And I believe of that, love, self-love, time, some of the most valuable things in the world. And some people go their whole life and never learn to love themselves, man. They never reach that potential. So when I say that everybody's equal, we all have the capability to create wealth. We all have the capability of impacting the world. Think about it. In the existence of time, how many people have had a day named, had a day dedicated to them? Dr. King, Christopher, Christopher Columbus. And that's only in America. I don't know what other countries, what, the, what days they have for other people, other people. But everybody has that capability. It's just like, are you going to live for something bigger than you? Are you going to fall for lesser things, things humans are more viable than money? Understand what I'm saying? Humans are more viable than a lot of the things that a lot of people dedicate their lives for. You know, I'm not saying these things aren't important. They serve a purpose, they serve their purpose, and nothing else can replace them in that. But like I said, man, this is this is this is bigger than that. And this is what this brand is about. Contagious. This is what this is about, man. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for being a part of this. Please use all of these videos as a form of motivation to understand that no matter where you're at in life, things will get better. It will get better. As long as you get better and sometimes getting better means loving taking the time to love yourself and we all need different routines to perform our best you think lebron just show up for a game and just go crazy no he has a routine he does you know a workout routine a warm-up routine you need a routine for yourself daily a morning routine what you do before you go to bed all of that man so that you can perform and be your best i love you guys i'm gonna keep giving you guys gems stay tight in like subscribe comment and share this with somebody who might need it Thank you guys. Till next time. Peace out.